Work on a new protective seal is underway by researchers at Sandia National Labs. Now that could prevent tampering attempts on nuclear material and pharmaceutical products. News 13's Carla Sosa shows us how this technology works. It's some of the most critical work when dealing with nuclear materials. That's why engineers at Sandia National Labs have developed a prototype that would show if those items have been tampered with. And the concern is, has someone um, removed a seal from um, a high value important item, like a container of nuclear material, um, and then put the seal back or repaired it such that you would not know that that container has been accessed? Researchers hope this will help ease the inspector's job while being out in the field. What we noticed about that was that it was really difficult and time consuming. And so an inspector has to like physically touch the seal, look at it and try to figure out um, if there has been tamper. Cody Corbin, one of the chemists behind this project, has been working with a group of scientists for the past three years, developing the prototype that would indicate tampering. We drilled through this um, and these are all the colored beads. You're seeing the response over here as the air goes through it, and that is irre um, an irreversible chemical process. They see it right then and there. They don't have to do anything uh, past that to know if something's wrong. However, the research isn't stopping there. The team continues to make sure the prototype could work anywhere. It could not only be important for international nuclear safeguards, but really anything where you're trying to determine if something has been accessed um, what comes to mind are pharmaceuticals, um, pharmaceutical bottles. At, at this point, we are um, doing extensive environmental testing to see how it responds, not only to things like extreme temperatures, but ultraviolet. Carla Sosa, KRQE, News 13. Well, officials believe that these seals could be used on pharmaceutical products in the next few years.